All right. I'm going to talk about these little guys. This is called a liposuction. And it's made by Race Day Quads and Jelly Bean FPV. And they are a solution to a problem that we all have, which is you go out flying, maybe you crash, wreck everything, maybe you just don't have as much time as you thought you would and you come back with a whole bunch of fully charged packs. What do you do with them? You don't want to leave them fully charged because if you leave them fully charged, after a while they're going to degrade and you're going to lose capacity on them. So I don't like to leave more, my lipos fully charged more than you know a day or two max. Best case scenario is you get out flying the next day and you get to fly them and discharge them. But other than that, really, there's a couple options. One is you can discharge them on a regular charger. Uh, the problem with those is usually they don't just they don't discharge very quickly. So usually uh, about an amp or so is all they'll do. Uh, the other option is to use something like this, which is an ISDT discharger. And uh, these work at six amps and you just plug your battery into them, hit go and it discharges your battery. It's got a little fan on it uh, to keep the, the circuitry cool. And again, these work really well. Six amps are a lot faster than a regular charger. Uh, the problem is you can only do one at a time. And I mean, even if you have a few of these, <laughs> two or three of them, it still takes a long time to discharge your batteries, especially if you come back with, you know, eight, 10, 15, 20 discharge batteries. Uh, there's also the light bulb dischargers, and one's made by Target Hobby, and then there's a whole bunch of DIY options, and same thing, you can only discharge one or two at a time. Uh, and so discharging your batteries in a serial fashion like that one after another can take a really long time. There's a few nights I've stayed up really late just trying to discharge my batteries so, uh, so they don't stay charged overnight. So Race Day Quads uh, sells this really neat solution uh, called the Liposuction. And they make a few different versions of it. There's one with an XT30 connector and it's made for 3S batteries. There's one with an XT60 for 4S batteries and there's another one with XT60 for 6S batteries. And they also come with a little 3D printed cap and they make these in all sorts of different colors. So this is, this is what it looks like together. And there's a little window there that tells you that this is a 4S discharger. So the idea is you go flying, at the end of the day you might have a bunch of partially charged packs uh, and fully charged packs that are left over. So you just take your battery, plug it in, there's a little light that tells you that it's discharging. When it's finished discharging, the light goes off. Simple. So what I do is I've got a whole bunch of these things, I've got like 20 of them. And all my batteries, I just jam one of these on the XT60 connector of every one of my batteries and leave them overnight. And when I wake up in the morning, they're all discharged. Um, now, they are slow. So they discharge at a rate of 500 milliwatts. Don't get that confused with milliamps. <laughs> 500 milliamps on a 4S battery runs at about, I don't know, that's 30 milliamps. And so it can take a long time to discharge. Like we're really talking overnight. That's 1 20th of an amp, no less than that. And so um, nice thing is they don't create a lot of heat. So you can put a whole bunch of these in a bag all together. You know, you can have 10 batteries in a LiPo bag with one of these on each of your, uh, each of your batteries and it doesn't create much heat. Um, I really like these little colored caps. Um, one, because it makes it really easy to see which batteries have a discharger on them and which ones don't. Uh, plus, if you've got batteries with different amounts of cells, so if you've got some 3S batteries, 4S batteries, 6S batteries, you get them in different colors, and that way you can make sure that you don't put the wrong discharger on a battery, because you can kill your battery if you put the wrong discharger on it. Um, I do have a couple of little nickels with these things. Uh, one is because of the discharge rate, realistically, you can only really use them on 1300 milliamp, 1500 milliamp, maybe a 2000 milliamp hour battery. Anything bigger and it'll take, you know, two, three days to discharge. And for me, I don't like leaving my batteries charged for that long. So 
to be able to char discharge overnight, really you're talking about some smaller batteries. Now that's okay for me because I only use 1300 and 1500 milliamp hour batteries. But if you've got some larger ones, um, you know, maybe this isn't quite the right solution for them. Uh, the other little niggle I have is the storage voltage that these are set to is 3.9 volts per cell. So it'll bring your battery down to 3.9 volts per cell and then automatically shut off. And the problem with that is I fly my batteries down to 3.8 volts per cell. So if I come home, let's say I've used 10 batteries, I've flown 10 batteries and I have two fully charged, or sorry, 10 fully charged, put these on it, the next day they're all down to 3.9 volts per cell. What that means is I can't put them all on a balance board together uh, because they're just too far apart in voltage. And so uh, it means I have to charge my batteries that I've flown with separately than the ones that I've used these little uh, dischargers on. That's not that big of a deal, but it sure would be nice if they were 3.8 volts per cell. Um, I did talk to Race Day Quads about it, and they insist that 3.9 volts per cell is the proper resting voltage for a LiPo battery. And I don't know, I've, I've heard anywhere from 3.75 volts up to 3.85 volts and maybe 3.9 volts, but um, realistically speaking, it would be much better if it brought it down to 3.8 volts per cell. Um, so these things are a massive time saver. If you have a lot of batteries, if you've only got two or three packs, then you don't really need these. You just use your discharger uh, to discharge the batteries. But if you've got a whole bunch of packs, I've got 30, 35 packs, and usually I have to drive anywhere from an hour, hour and a half to go out flying. So if I'm gonna drive that far to go flying, I bring a lot of packs with me. And if I break everything or have to come back early, it's nice to be able to just toss all my batteries in a LiPo bag, put these little caps on them, they're only five bucks a piece, and uh, leave them overnight and they're discharged by the end of the day. They don't have to sit there for hours discharging batteries. Anyway, uh, if you're like me and you have lots of packs, I highly suggest you check these out. I love them.